normal food store but like, what is this? Welcome back to an episode of ebook vlogs. Today we are back out in the West because West is the best. And I'm not the only Westie here because we have Chica! Are you my long lost sister? Chiaka. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing in the West today? Assuming that we are going to do something Pasar Malam related, at least that was what I was told. In the West. In the West. <laughs> it's called Pasar Malam Corner and I guess it's very exciting because it has been a while since we had Pasar Malam. Mm. At, at least two years. So yes, we're gonna try everything at Pasar Malam Corner today. And we are going to tapau back to the office because of COVID and also they only do takeaways, just like how normal right. Pasar Malams are back in the day. Oh yeah. yeah. So we're gonna try everything to let you know whether it's worth it to come down to the West for this or not. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. We are back here in the office and we have just came back from Pasamalam Corner. We have bought everything. Everything. Everything off the menu. So we are right now going to give it a test. Wow! Wow! Sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you like milk tea, right, you just buy one and then you split with a friend mm. and then you add your own ice at home. Yeah, that's, that sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah. But okay, what do we have here? Honestly, right, I'm not very familiar with Singaporean foods mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. So I will need you to introduce to me. Can! <laughs> but have you been to a Pasar Malam before? When we went to Jurong East to meet, right, mm. um, there, was, there used to be this green patch. And every once in a while, there will be this Pasar Malam. Yeah. And you can smell the oil, you can hear the crowd, you can hear the music. But my go-to, right, is Chayetan. Oh yeah. Yeah, because nowadays it's so hard to find outside. Oh, Aside yeah. from that, the staples like Rami Burger. I like to eat that tapioca cake. Okay, this one a bit new school, but I like the tornado putito so. <laughs> okay, this one. I think this is um the Pasar Malam corner version of appetizers. <laughs> <laughs> it is a nice way to put it, eh? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some places have breadsticks, but we have fish cake sticks. Ah. This one also kind of like fish cake sticks, but this is Goropok version. It's not overly oily, right? Mm, no, really not. not. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there's not any particular wow factor, but I, I would enjoy eating this. Uh. I think I would describe this as um, an umami snack. Very seafoody mm. and like addictive. So it's very affordable, mm. very basa malam like. And that goes very Singaporean. Lekko! <laughs> Even though they are both the same thing, this is very different from what it looks like. It's like a chewy crunch. It's, inside it's like a bit of a mochi. Do you know what this is? It's called goreng pisang, right? Yes! I thought goreng is rice. Nasi is rice. <laughs> I tried better goreng pisang. Mm. Like the goreng pisang that I prefer, softer and sweeter. This banana inside feels a little bit unripe. But I wouldn't mind if let's say it's at my house downstairs. Mm. Yeah, for convenience sake. Okay, so we are done with this little plate of fritters. So now we're gonna try the Lazy Susan platter, which is not available at Pasar Malam Corner unless you were an e-book mm. like, huh? Mm. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Okay, so the one with the red dot is the sardine one that you're trying, right? Yes. And then the one that's plain is the potato one. Actually, this one doesn't smell fishy eh. It has a bit of spice, a bit like ota. But smelling both, right, I feel like the curry potato one smells stronger with the spice. Not as doughy as I thought it would be. Eh. The smell of the sardine, right, it's not in your face like, bah, I'm sardine, sardine, mm. sardine. <laughs> <laughs> the mm -mm. feeling, right, I mm. actually tasted bits of onions. Ooh. It's so soft and it's sweet. I'm actually very impressed with the filling. The spice is just a little bit. Mm. Not even a xiao la, it's just like a la. And I really like 
how they cook their potatoes. Like some are huge chunks, like mine over here, there's a huge chunk. And some are really mashed finely. I love yam. Do you like yam? I'm neutral with yam. It's a bit bland. Mm. A bit dry, but I, I think maybe that's what yam is. I feel like they have better things at Tasanalam Corner than mm. the fried yam. A bit intimidating the colour and the size. Uh. <laughs> because everything in the store is yellow, including the store's walls. Mm. So when the auntie was pouring this out, right? Mm. We're like, hey, what's that? What's that? What's that? <laughs> the auntie is like, banana ball. <laughs> we want, we want. <laughs> Like something when you come out of a bakery, right? Mm. That sells very good banana walnut bread. Like, oh my gosh, mm. yes! Mmm, mmm. So that, so that. It doesn't have a very strong taste, so I feel like I can eat one whole ball mm. without feeling very jalat. But this one, I think I can keep going on. It's a very dangerous treat. Yeah, it's true. Very it's true. dangerous. It's the same orange batter as the other fried items, mm. but this time on the inside is sweet potato. Oh, you know the yam is more of a neutral tasting kind of vegetable. This one tastes naturally better, lah, cause mm. it's sweet potato, ma. Correct, correct. Okay, have you had vadai before? Honestly, no. This actually a really popular savoury snack I would say. This is my first time eating it this way but usually they eat it with green chilli eh. It's like a savoury focaccia bread but chewier. When you eat the chilli it's even better. Because you get that crunch, that sweet crunch on the chilli. And the chilli is not spicy at all. Ooh, mm. but the crunch. I can taste the sweetness of the cabbages. I love vegetables so anything that brings out the vegetables now, uh, vegetableness in food, what I love. Oh, very heavy, very dense. <laughs> it's only, only, man. Oh my gosh. Wah! Oh, Please don't. Oh my gosh. I'm, I, I wasn't very impressed because in the middle of the dough, I think it's pretty uncooked over here. Yeah, I think it's because of the sheer size of this on day on day. So I kind of understand why. I think it's different when you put one whole thing in your mouth. Because when I beat it, right, it's a bit like liquid, but mm. not exactly how I would usually have my on day on day. Wow, not enough, I just know. <laughs> They're very generous with the sauce, right? Mm. Yeah. I like that they stuck to their roots. Um, the patty is still wrapped with that thin layer of egg. If, if you bite down into a Ramly burger and you have sauce spilling to the sides, it means it is a legit Ramly burger. I agree. <laughs> and they don't use just one sauce, they use yeah. different kind of sauces. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna save my stomach for the next thing. The roti john? Yes! Mm. You know why I'm so excited for it? Why? Cause look at it, it has nacho cheese sauce on top! Yeah, this one feels like a bread-like quesadilla with sauces and filling inside. Yeah, for me maybe 3 is the perfect amount. I've eaten roti johns at hawker centres before. I think this one really is just sauce and bread. So I'm not a huge fan of... I see this. This means takoyaki. Yeah. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Is it correct? Every household in Os Osaka will have a takoyaki thing. I do have one. Everywhere there's, you know, the night market, they always have takoyaki. Mm. You always buy it outside at the market. Well, the first smell that hits you is for sure the bonito flakes, yes. right? Wow, I see mayo. Mm -hmm. A lot of mayo. And the takoyaki sauce, the brown one. Mm. Do you manage to eat any prawn? No. I also didn't. <laughs> no, I was oh. expecting to see something a bit orangey. It's just quite like. Eh. Oh, no, uh. I don't know. Eh. But it's not as doughy as I thought it would be. Yeah, yeah because at least maybe the takoyaki that I tried in Singapore, mm. they are so doughy. It's very hard to swallow sometimes. This one is still manageable. Mm. For me. Well, no, Java, I'm not a big fan. Eh. I'm not a big fan either. Eh. I feel like I can finally taste the dough of the takoyaki now. I like it when the batter is thinner. Mm. This one is a bit too chewy. Mm. Uh, it would be good if there's like sliced cabbage inside. But I like things in big chunks. Makes me feel like my money is worth it. Okay lah, you can mm. go back and buy the big banana. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Squid game. <laughs> <laughs> the person who doesn't have squid in their takoyaki will be okay. murdered. Okay. <laughs> Shot. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have yet. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. I don't have yet. I really don't have. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> Pass on the Pasamala corner takoyaki. <laughs> I think the difference between this and Minjiang Kueh is that yeah, the dough is so much 
more heavy and like thick. So I would prefer if the filling was more generous than the dough itself. My chocolate is a bit too sweet for my liking. Mm. But it will go nice with a cup of like Desi Kosong. Our uh, last bite of some of <laughs> Pasar Malang Corner today. Okay. Ready? Let's go. go. This one is really a too thick a mouthful for me. Mm. Plus the feelings is very kiddish. Because I don't think I will ever want to eat Oreo and pancake together. The one that I usually eat is from Jollibean. Mm. So if I were to compare it right, I would just go to a Jollibean. Ah. Okay, but don't forget, today we are being forced by some people to try everything at Pasar Malang Corner. <laughs> to tell y'all what's good and what's not so good. I'm very full now. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm slowly drawing to the food coma situation. But that being said, I think it was quite fun to really try every single thing at Pasar Malam Corner today because we did find some great stuff. Same as you, I enjoyed when I was there. You know, I, I felt hot and humid, but that's the whole point of the Pasar Malam. You know? Yes, yeah. It's for the tea fun that counts, you know. Banana, Banana ball! ball. <laughs> it was such a perfect treat for me, eh. And as someone who doesn't like fried stuff, right? Wow. I fell in love with that, I'm not even kidding. And I would buy that for my family next time to try. Mm. Yeah, a bit oily, mm. but I think it's worth. Green Bye pepper. <laughs> Wait, so is it the duo or only the green pepper? It's the duo. Yeah, like even though it's like a very plain looking dough, mm. it's actually very flavorful. It has that prawny aroma and then slightly salty, slightly savory, then with that fresh, crunchy green chili. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's just that home taste for me. You know, I like the shape, although it's a bit thick. Mm. Yeah, but I like the taste. It's not too salty for me such that it hurts my tongue. <laughs> Some of the koropo is like that. But wow, the fact that we both raved about the same things, it shows that it re they really are must tries at the Pasar yes. Malam Corner. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So it's good if you go check it out yourself because Pasar Malam Corner is like a permanent store. Yeah. It's right across Jurong East MRT and they're open from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. So that's like Pasar Malam. All day Pasar Malam. Yeah. Thank you for watching this episode of Eat Book Vlogs. If you have any recommendations for us to try everything at, comment down below. And if you like this video, you can watch more over there. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and try the... Pasar Malam Corner. Minus one. Bye! I dropped it in a football line.